I was just watching in the in the little preview where I could see Greg McMillan. He's bopping away to the music. <laughs> good morning, afternoon, evening, good night. It is Saturday, the thirteenth of April. Thirteenth of April is that a, is that like a bad omen? The thirteenth? I don't know. I'm not really into that sort of thing. It's uh, despite what the Bureau of Meteorology says, it's been a bloody cracker week weather-wise. We've had one day where one night, I should say, where it's been clouded over. They lied to me. It was supposed to be cloudy all week, and I didn't go anywhere. I was, I was planning a trip, but that trip will happen very shortly. Morning, Patrika. Who else we got here? Long Island, New York, Joe Valdez. Brian Wilson. G'day, Beach Boy. I've got to say, I, I, you probably don't even like the Beach Boys, but I keep thinking of you as a Beach Boy. Devo, Mike Goyne. What, what is that? I don't know. I need my Canadian translator. Morning, Greg. How are you? Good day, good day, <laughs> good day, mate. Right? Uh, what what I, I is he saying? What is, I have no idea. That's that's uh, Southern Illinois. That's what that is. Uh, I think it just mumbles through his mask, maybe. Well, he, you know what? He's been picking a lot of shrooms lately, like morels and and. Oh right, like that's that. sort of, oh, so edible. I right, got you now. Yeah. Thinking, Where are you going with this, Greg? <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, Dave Ponder. Yeah. Hey, Dave. Nice to see you there, Dave. I, 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 there's a thing with you guys with your – it's just it's just the way that social media works. It it reminds me of events that are happening five hours ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we, yeah. so we – I'm not in the, I'm not in the uh, um, uh, uh, habit of, of what – because you've only done your, your live streaming with your podcast recently – and I'm yeah. fortunate enough to be in a position now where I could sit here and watch it between editing stuff because I'm doing this all the time now. I don't ever remember to watch. I should set a bloody reminder of my, for myself, or you should send me a text or something <laughs> before you start. I, I like, should. I, and, and I forgot. You, you to are post my Siri. It. I forgot to post <laughs> it on on YouTube saying it's coming up. But you know what? I did uh -huh. that one time before, and it screwed up because, um, the where i put it saying it's coming up it was actually different than the feed actually was so people were clicking on the thing ah. where it's coming up and they weren't getting the feed gotcha. so i'm gonna have to pick yep. your brain on how to get that set up yeah sure we'll talk about that up when we finish today just remember yeah we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah every time i reckon i think i've come across it once where i might have had youtube open and a lot of little pop-ups come up so i've watched it and just commented and you know took the piss out of you as you were doing it but then <laughs> <laughs> so many other times I'll, I'll like log on to facebook in the afternoon or, or, or not think it was like are you interested in going to this it happened five hours ago yeah it doesn't it doesn't help <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh here we go we, we might have oh devo devo and just underneath you've got 52 year old gamer you two are gamers and i reckon devo's how old do you reckon Devo is? I don't know. Devo he wouldn't be 52. Is... I'm going to He's... say his late 30s. Yeah, I was going to say late 30s, early 40s, yeah. Yep. He's probably sitting there right now, you old bastards, how dare you? Yeah. <laughs> He's probably sitting on his beanbag, beanbag ah. eating Cheetos, playing his game in the background. You know <laughs> damn well he's drinking scotch right now. <laughs> yeah. But it's only nine o'clock. You're drinking scotch right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, where he is, it's like ten o'clock in the evening. Oh, really? He's definitely drinking right now. Uh, oh yeah. Hello, huh? I thought you may have picked up. No, 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 I no. Uh, oh, no. The only song that we ever picked up from Japan was there's this department store called. Oh, what's it called? Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Um, and a Jim B. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Don Quixote and their theme song is like this horrendous earworm that you get. You every time you walk into these things, you, you hear this song. Um, in fact, on one of the videos on Windella Farm channel, we um, we talked about like the, the things that you didn't know about or something like that sort of video about Japan. And that Don Quixote store was one of them, and you can hear that song. In that video, oh and really? Every time because I oh, watched yeah. that video and I didn't, I don't remember the song. Well, I didn't play it too long because I didn't want to get a copyright strike for uh, doing it. Right. But um, uh, every time when I was when I was editing the video, I'd say, "Sarah, come in here." 
and I'd, I'd play it and she's like ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he'll be 50 and we're the same age Devo I turned 50 in now just let me think about this oh come on uh, you, you young bucks you, you did no no right to go like that at all I'm the old <laughs> bugger <laughs> as, I'm just I'm curious as, as Gail's like toured around your local town to find the homes to put you in not yet. Not yet. Not yet? No, uh, not yet. Well, she hasn't taken you with her, at least. <laughs> just... <laughs> well, this is true. <laughs> she keeps saying she's gone shopping. <laughs> yeah, I, I turn I turned 50 uh, in July, at the end of July this year. So I'm not sure how many months away that this is like, I don't know, three, something, four, whatever it is. Not not far away. Yes. Uh, cheers from DC. Still working, but listening too. <laughs> yeah, cool. I get that. Since we're talking, hap- yes, happy talking birthday, age, happy Craig. birthday, Craig. That is a tiny shutter reference, and so back when Dave and I, so Dave started the show before I did, but right about that time, they were broadcasting the show live on a website called Mixler, where you can listen live. Right, and there was a guy from. I want to say, Dave, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think he's from Australia, but I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, the running joke is there. Is, is that... there more than just um, like like Mike James, um, Dale Lotherington, and Shane Austin? Do any other people from Australia take photos on their phones? It's messy. Uh, well, you know what? There was a gal from over by Perth. Her name is Vicky. Yep. Um, Oh gosh, and her last name escapes me. She started out taking pictures with her phone and d- do it did really well, but she moved up to a mirrorless and and that's what she uses mostly now. But she still shoots with yep. her phone the odd time. Uh, she's yep. an amazing photographer. Some great um, uh, sunset shots from over by Perth. Ah, uh, uh, you do ridiculous but, uh, sunsets in Western Australia. But yeah, I mean there are there are others for sure. Um, I'm just messing, dude. You didn't catch my sarcasm. No, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you are. Yep. Um, it's his age, mate. He's, he's, he's a bit old. Come on, Gail. I, Go I, find that not, a, not a bit. Not a bit old. Um, so Just to make, get back make sure to... that home has got good uh, internet, Gail, because I still need him to co-host the show. Yes. It, it, wherever, it's gotta be, wherever, wherever we go, it's going to be good internet. Um, <laughs> but to get back to this happy birthday Craig thing, he, yes. he was on there and he just happened to say one time that it was his birthday. So from there on, it was uh, always uh, happy birthday, Craig. So every time we bring up the, the topic of age, it's happy uh, birthday, uh, Craig. So that it's is just very much a, a long time running joke. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, so 74 was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the nod for Star Files. Six pro. Ah, yes. That's interesting too. Was it that you? The cop, you might have actually commented on that, uh, Brian. Some somebody did. I can't. I can't remember. Someone said that just use it that way, and I thought oh, that makes sense too. So, yes. What are we talking about today? We've been in here for I don't know how long. Nearly um, nine or nine minutes now. We've spoken nothing about what we're meant to be. But hey, <laughs> it wouldn't be right if we weren't. The book. The book. You've written a book. Yes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thinking, did you just go quiet? Can you not hear me? <laughs> that one right there. Ah, that's a nice bee. Yeah, it's the bee's knees. It's what all, it's what all the buzz is about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, anyway, oh, look, our yeah. viewership just went down to one. <laughs> and it's you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're not even watching. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Tell us about the book. Did you been... take this photo? Or was, is it a stock image? No, oh, I took it. Oh, yep. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too. Uh, just... It's too late in the afternoon for me, I guess. <laughs> oh, mate, I'll be I, fine. I got to go to work six o'clock in the too, morning. So... Here. I gotta work. Yeah, right. I gotta go. I gotta go to work tonight, so my brain's going into numb mode. 
<laughs> uh, so ever since, to, to put this into perspective for everybody, ever since I've known you, you've been writing this book. Yes. Ever since I've known you. So, and I've known you for four years, I reckon. Pardon me. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be close. Yeah. It'd be close to four years. Because it's this book and was I don't four know. years in the making. Oh, there you go. So you, yeah. so you started doing it uh, when all the lockdowns and everything started happening around the place. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. Yep. Give um, you something to do. Well, I had I, I had you know basically wanted to write it before all the lockdown stuff happened, but the lockdown the lockdown stuff kind of gave me time to actually write it. Uh, you know, and, and I had it written in about yep. six months. Yep. So what's taken so long is, uh, and I went and I talked about this on the podcast the other night. What took so long was once I got the stuff to the publisher that I agreed to go with, <clears throat> and it was just going to be like a printed version. And I think they were, I think they were going to put a Kindle version out. Mm -hmm. Um, they just took forever to do stuff uh, for, yeah. for whatever reason. And as I found out, there were there were things that kind of delayed them. I want, okay, so the, the publisher was a team, a family team. One of them was in New York. The other one was in California. The one in California got stranded in Florida when the pandemic hit. That didn't help. Mm -hmm. Then when she got home, she was switching everything over in her computers and all that stuff. And so, I mean, that took a lot of time. And one thing led to another, and then, and um, it's you know. So I I would uh, try to get a hold of them and see you know hey what's got an update. At one point, they sent me screenshots of the pages they were working on and things like that, and I thought okay okay things are looking good, and you, you know you're not going to meet a more patient guy than me. I am a very yeah, patient right. person. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So so I figured okay, well it's going to come to it's going to come to fruition at some point. <clears throat> but it was getting to the point though where things were changing compared to mm -hmm. the, the how I wrote it, you know. When I wrote yeah. it, I had the 12 Pro Max. Well, yep. then the 13 Pro Max came out, or the 13 Pro phones came out with <laughs> macro built in. Yep. I didn't have one. I couldn't put that in the book. Then the 14 came out and I did have it. So I was able to maybe change some things to put that in the book, but they had already had the files. So then it came to the point where, um, uh, I'm going to just stop sharing this right now there. It, then it came to the point where, um, I looked at the contract and the contract said, okay, you got, so from the time that the final files were submitted they had a period of 18 months to produce a book and mm -hmm. it was getting on like about four months left and i emailed them and i said you know i said uh if this is not going to happen in that time span can we just call it a day now and i'll just self-publish it and a couple of days later, they come back and said, yeah, you're free to do what you want. We'll terminate it as of, as of right now. So, mm -hmm. you know, I thank them for their, um, you know, for their consideration and, and all that stuff. I mean, I thought it was a pretty, pretty big deal just to be accepted by a publisher to do a book. Um, yep. so the other thing that happened too mm -hmm. was, um, when the pandemic hit, paper became very hard to get for printing. And I could tell you that firsthand because I work at a major Canadian printer mm -hmm. and we dealt with that. We dealt with, you know, uh, deadlines from when we need the paper to get to the plant so we can print a, a customer's product. And mm -hmm. sometimes it was like so close. Sometimes it was even late. You know, so the paper industry, the, the paper mills and that, they were having a, a difficult time. That's because um, they were trying to fill all these orders of toilet paper that people were, for some reason, taking. I don't know, did yeah. that happen in Canada? Oh, pff. people were trying to get shit tickets all over the place. Like it, I couldn't, it was just. I, I don't understand it. Like I don't it, get it. We'd go into town, and and the 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 shopping center was opening up the big packets of of <laughs> shit. What do you call it? Shit tickets. Yeah. 
um, they're opening up the big boxes of those, like big packets of those, and you can only buy two rolls. They'd like, yeah. they would like glad wrap them together, you know, like, like, um, like, I don't know, do you call it glad wrap? They were rationing. It. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, it's, it's <clears throat> fucking date roll. How can you, how can you, like, but what's the story? Why are you taking it? I don't get it. I, I just yeah, don't. Get I, I don't. It. I don't understand why that is going to save you from anything. I don't having know. more <laughs> toilet paper. Like, I, I don't get when it. When you look down the the hierarchy of survival, there's like water, food, shelter. I don't know yeah. how far down you've got to go until you get to date roll. I don't get it. What's what's? I don't get it. I never yeah, got I, it. I don't know. But yeah. anyway, so, you know, yeah. so pap paper was hard to get. Paper was an issue. And, you know, I mean, and as that part of it is kind of coming back. Like it's it, it's 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 bouncing back, I should say, mm -hmm. in the industry. Like it's not as hard to get paper now as it was, you know, when things were really bad. Um, so that was part of what took them a long time, too. Like, I mean, they, they, yeah. they didn't even know if they were going to get paper, I guess. I don't know. And but anyway, so... Tom, the, the the contract was terminated. Um, you know, I thank them for their consideration and for any effort that they put into it at the time because I know they put effort into it because they had they they sent me screenshots of page layouts and stuff, so they were working on it. But mm -hmm. Just in my opinion, not fast enough, obviously. Yep. So I rewrote it, um, and I I got Mike James to thank for a big big. Uh, part of the editing like i i, I mm -hmm. sent him a lot of pages and i sent them to you i think too uh and and he he read over them and he says okay i, I don't hope you don't mind but i he, he 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 said you know do you want me to have a look at it and and i said yeah go ahead yeah. and he showed me things that i maybe could have done better and i did and, and they are better so i made a bunch of changes that way yeah and then i took those uh philosophies and put them basically throughout the rest of the book without getting Mike to redo it because, you know, yeah. he's a busy guy. Um, so anyway, finally I got the, the book rewritten and then I was able to put stuff from the 15 Pro Max in it and everything else and keep it a little more current. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I just, you know, did the proofreading and all this stuff. And now it's, it's a, it's an ebook. Um, hmm. I'm going to put hmm. a revision up because um oh name oh norm norman savigar is his name pointed mm -hmm. out that i i had a spelling mistake every time i mentioned focus peaking yep i spelled peaking wrong oh really that's really yeah. easy enough to fix them oh yeah yeah it's, it's going to yeah. be really easy to fix but i also want to yep. put an updated um picture of me on the about the author page i, I don't like the yep. picture that's there but it's the only one you i should... had at the time you should put that criminal one up from your Facebook profile photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man is a serial killer. Do not trust him. But he can take photos. to find that. That's <laughs> funny. But, uh, so um, anyway, so it, it's out now as an ebook. It's been out for, oh, I don't know, a week or two. I don't know, a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been about a week maybe. And yeah. um, I... The, the printed version, there is going to be a printed version and it will be available soon. That's all I could say. All I know is that yep. I spent, I don't know how many more hours um, re doing the, the print files mm -hmm. and I had to change all the pictures from RGB to CMYK color space and all this stuff. Yep. And I was through, probably not quite halfway through and I thought, oh, there's got to be a better way to do this. And this is the this is the woes of self publishing, but anyway, so what I did was I in, in Affinity Photo because I don't have Photoshop, I put the whole PDF file in Affinity Photo, and then I exported it back out as a um, PDF with uh, the CMY color space and all that all the parameters that the print printer needed, yep, and boom, it worked. Oh, so good. it got it got approved. Now I'm waiting for them to email me a um, like a software version of the book so I can approve that, make sure it looks good. And then I will get a printed copy to 
proofread and all that stuff, make sure it looks good and everything else. And if it does, then wham, it hits the market. Hmm. So what, I don't um, know what the time frame will be. Sure. With the, the publisher that you went to initially, how did you find them? Like, how, okay, how did so that relationship happen? In my um, podcast, before it became <laughs> the iPhoneography podcast, it was the Artful iPhoneography Interviews. And it was, it was kind of a um, companion to this community that I was running. And okay. there was a, 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 a lady named Riley Arthur. She wrote a book about, I've got it right here. Uh, iPhone photography okay. for everybody. iPhone photojournalism techniques. And it's a pretty mm -hmm. good book. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's, it's all about using your iPhone for doing photojournalism. Yep. And, and, um, <clears throat> this chair. <clears throat> and so she said, this is part of why I wrote the book. She said, uh, you should write a book. And I said, I don't know what I would write about. She said, well, you should do one. If you ever decide to do one, I'll put you in touch with the publisher. So that's, uh, okay. and you know, it was about two weeks after that. I thought, you know what? I could probably do it on macro because I really like doing macro. And so she put me in touch with them. And then that's how that's how that all came to be. Hmm. Hmm. And the, the process of putting onto um, uh, Apple Books, is that the right terminology for that app? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is that just a, a, a process of you building something? You've just got to tick these boxes to comply and then it's done? Is that the story? You know, it, it's so easy. Yep. I, I wrote it in Apple's Pages app. Yep. And it, so that's like <laughs> the equivalent of Microsoft Word. Well, and it's, it, it, is it though? It's not the equivalent. Microsoft Word is so much better, but I get what oh, you're no, saying. It isn't. It's... No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started on numbers. But I do think it's the Apple ecosystem. Those, that those, like. those programs are pretty powerful. They, they may not be as powerful as the Microsoft stuff because yeah. Microsoft has been doing it longer, but... Anyway, it's it's yeah, um, yeah. it's it's pretty good. But the nice thing about Pages is you can export from Pages right to Apple Books. Really? Yeah. I'll be damned. I didn't know that. So See, it's they really used to, Apple used to have a thing called iBooks Author. Yep. But they incorporated it right into Pages. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Yeah. So and, and all I had to do, do is make sure make my document size. And the margins yep. and all that stuff, but everything as I wrote it and put the pictures in, wham! Mm -hmm. That's how it looks in the book. Okay, so pardon me. So when they when you've uploaded it, they just like process it. I imagine just like a YouTube video to make sure it's not full of something that really shouldn't well, be out there. They it's when you first upload it, so you have to do it through iTunes Connect, and when you do that, then it says okay, now it's under review. And I guess it took oh, okay. probably a day and a half before it was actually there. So when, when you upload yep. it, then you say, okay, I want it in this store, this store, this store. Well, I just put mm -hmm. all. So it was in 51 yeah. different countries. Yep. And then you set the price. So I set the Canadian price and then it automatically converts them for all those countries. Yep. And and then I just wait for the review. And okay. when the review is done and it actually goes, goes live, that's it. Yep, yep. It's Scott's like oh iTunes. Yeah, iTunes. <laughs> Does well, anyone actually is, use iTunes anymore? Oh, iTunes is really only available on Windows now. Um, on the Mac. Oh no, it's Apple Music now, isn't it, or something? Well, yeah, but I mean, with iTunes, I mean, to to transfer stuff to and from your phone on um, on Windows, you use iTunes. But on mm -hmm. the Mac, you don't have to use iTunes now. In fact, I don't even have iTunes on the Mac anymore. You just yep. do it in the Finder. Yep. Yep. So, but there we go. That's a perfect explanation. There were things that. Um, so, well, my background working for Xerox and um, IBM and Mitel, these sorts of places. Obviously, it's all enterprise businesses. So you've you're using the Microsoft Office suite. You just ah. I don't know anyone that doesn't. Yeah. So when I would do, I used to be a cracker formula creator with um, Excel, oh, yeah. and and with with numbers, it's just it's just not as good. It's not as easy to do it. Um, you can't do some of the more complex things. Not that I need to do it now. 
I don't need yeah. to do it now. Yeah. I, I have no need to do it now. But um, when I when I would um, create spreadsheets for things that even I was doing here before YouTube and stuff, oh man, I was pulling my freaking hair. No, I wasn't saying pulling my hair. That's not the right terminology. But you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> it was just driving me freaking nuts trying yeah. to get things in numbers uh, to do. But anyway, that's it's interesting that you can look at it. the I beard numbers... looking proper. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, I think numbers is, is pretty powerful. Uh, it's just, it, it's a different way to go about it, I guess. <clears throat> Absolutely on the money there. Some of the, some of the, um, the spreadsheets that I used to do, I was that nerdy. I used to get proud of, um, but the database is what he's saying there, but with different yeah. product groups, pricing groups, profit rate, profit margins and all that. I don't have like, 20 or 30 different tabs across some of the master stuff that I did. My son, Tom, up in Queensland, he's done heaps of work for his company just through this automation stuff with um, Excel. And they kind of love him up there for it. Oh, yeah. He'd be lost without it too, yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Would you do it again? Make oh, yeah. a book? Write a yep. book? Make a book? Yep. Write a book? You would do it again? Yep. I already got what would one you do it in on? mind. Oh, what would you do it on? Well, well I thought say. I would. I thought I might do a series. Uh -huh. So this one's iPhone photography, focusing on macro. I I thought, yep. okay, I've got two that I would like to do. Mm -hmm. One is iPhone photography, focusing on landscape, and then the other one's focusing on long exposure. Mm -hmm. And well, so they go hand in hand. I don't know if I would put those two together to be one though, because I don't know how much you could say about landscape. In a book, right? You know, to make it a decent length. Yeah, you know, I think I um, maybe maybe combine them to make um, mm, you know, one decent publication. Potentially, I really decided. It, it's it's one of these things that, but like when when I don't really read books, I listen to a lot of books. Yeah. Um, just while I'm doing other stuff, I'll be listening to books. When I'm driving, I'll be listening to books. I don't generally read much. Um, it's when I oh <clears throat> the foreword in your book is fantastic, but when oh it's unbelievable, when, it's, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm stupid. laughs> um, the, when I was reading it, it was uh, I got it's it's not it's not a textbook. That's not, but it was it was sort of close to it, like it's. But that's just the nature of a, a how-to sort of book, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're learning something from the book. Um, and I think if you made that too long, that sort of how-to book with landscape photography and long right, exposure yeah. in the same thing, it would potentially be too big. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and this one here is like something like 115 pages. <laughs> so I think yep. it's a pretty decent length like i mean it only takes you know, yeah. like you could read the whole thing in an hour or an hour and a half or whatever. oh that's right you yeah know. that's right yeah and and like like dave podner said on the podcast it's it's just probably a good length where and and the finished book is going to be like five inches by eight inches i don't know what that is in centimeters but it's going to be um you know not too big uh hmm. we understand it, inches and stuff here as well it's just no, that I know, you but guys I mean, don't understand the other way <laughs> some people wait, prefer wait. centimeters and I, I just don't know what that would be but um anyway um uh but that having the digital version like dave said it was a great idea because you could take it with you in the field yeah 100%. it's in your phone 100 percent. Right? yep yep i thought the same thing and it's definitely worth like we've spoken about macro before i've done videos on macro um i'm certainly no macro guru but i've said it many times like when you're in a rut try something that in your in your regular genre of photography that you're into just yeah. try something else and macro is definitely one of them to go and try macro, something that's out of macro is something that anybody can do yeah right yeah you know yeah. it's it's it, people not everybody can do star trails or or astrophotography like you you do because not everybody lives in that type of location right some people well, live that's in the right middle. i mean sure they could drive if they want to drive yes 
There's just mm. it's just its freedom units. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's good. But the uh, the the thing. There's um, a show title. <laughs> but with star trials, you can do them anyway. You can do star trials in 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 your backyard. Yeah. Oh sure, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, the, the Milky Way stuff, like you know, with with a nice oh, yeah, foreground, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, that you kind of thing. Not everybody's yeah. going to want to do that, but yeah. everybody could do a macro, no matter where Absolutely. you are. You do it oh, in yeah, your yeah, freaking yeah. living room. Hundred percent. You know, hundred percent. Yeah. But uh, mm. yeah, it, it, it it's been an experience doing this self publishing thing. I can tell you that. Yep. What do we, what else do we want to talk about today? <clears throat> well, did you, you want, want to talk, talk about, about what we were talking about before we came on? What were we talking about? What were we talking about? I can't I'll remember. Put it now. in the private chat. Oh, the private chat. I have a question. There's Scott Baker. Maybe you should just ask it and tell it instead of telling us that you have a question. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just uh, like join us, Scott? To heck with work. <laughs> oh, that yeah, yeah, we could talk about that if you want. Yeah, I was just I was just looking at. Um, I thought one thing that we could talk about quickly is um, the uh, get rid of that. Is all of these? Oh, that's oh, the moon. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There has to be a scope shot for sure. Um, these. All yeah, these. Um, the, uh, the eclipse. The eclipse. Yeah. The, you, and you're all clouded over, right? We were. And it just yep. started to clear up just after it hit the, you know, the totality, which we didn't yep. get here. We, we didn't get totality where I am. But, yep. um, but it did start to clear up a little bit afterwards. <clears throat> Yeah, Ron. Ron posted um, that there's been an update to Expert Raw, which is you, you've seen all the Samsung content that I've been pushing out, and I've been pushing out heaps. No, nah, because I just got the shits big time with Samsung. The um, the way that uh, um, the Expert Raw was nerfed so badly. That's a very cool photo. <laughs> yeah, that is. So yeah. Weird. Oh look at this, Mike Goy, a Prince of Valor. You should print that. That's that's such a cool shot. Yeah, I really like that. Good job, Ron. But uh, in in that post where he's got these photos, he actually says um, that it seems to be more of a raw file now, not just a JPEG wrapped in a, a raw container. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll update that now because I really want to. Use, I've got this Star Tracker that I've been sent, and I, I really think. Pardon me. I really think that the Samsung's probably going to be the best with that. And um, I'm kind of like, I don't want to use the Samsung because of what they've done with that expert raw. It's just, it was just shit. Yeah. That if they have fixed it, well, kudos. It's, it'd be worth looking at. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few. I wonder how many people killed their phones. There was music on that one. You watch this <laughs> this video get demonetized. Uh, my expert raw. Ah. Oh. What phone do you have though, Mike? I can't remember. Have you got that FE? Was that the one? I can't remember. Yeah. I know you had a... that. Maybe maybe you updated it. Uh, are you actually going to tell us the question that you have, Scott Baker? Yeah, Scott. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Scott. <laughs> um. I oh, said, so do you want to talk about that? Oh, S22. Okay. Oh, Scott's here. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get one of those fake beads, Greg. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Am I live? Am I on? Well, well I hope so, because, yeah, everyone, everyone can hear you and see you. Yeah. Okay. How Good. you doing, man? Not too bad. Not too bad. Just uh, right. finishing up work here and... So, yeah, I need a beer. Uh, get it. What time is it there? Five o'clock, is it? Uh, 5.30, yeah. Before we go any okay, further, okay. I think I should share, yeah. share this. Just give it time. To, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many good memes. There were so many. Yeah. yeah. So many. <laughs> yeah. All these ones of like straight out of camera, no editing in this. Like, oh that's my. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. move is like funny. this big and stuff. It's just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a Star Trek that you should grab. Oh, yeah. And that's that's the intention for sure. Um, once I've once I've got a good uh, – uh, the iPhone does it okay. I think that the, the Samsung will do it a bit better. Uh, what I haven't tried yet, though, is um, in my head I think it will work, um, is using something like even longer on a star trail mode um, on a tracker. I've got a feeling it'll work. I might be wrong, but we'll try it. We'll just try some black magic stuff. I thought beer o'clock where you were, Devo, was like 9 a.m. <laughs> it's any time around the dial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, ah, oh, right. <laughs> There's so many. One of my favorite, it's turning into one of my favorite things on, on the, uh, in the comments section of all the videos. Because you, you guys wouldn't see it because... Like unless you're watching the comments of every single video, I'll, I'll get the alert when someone comments on a video that's like two years old, and I'll read it, and and I still get a good chuckle out of um, what what I don't see too many people with an iPhone bagging any other brand. It ha it happens, I'm sure it happens, but it's just not something that I see. I don't I don't see those sorts of comments on yeah on any of the videos. Boy, God, do they go the other way? Holy moly! If you haven't got the, 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 some of the Android people, they go off about. Oh man, I'll, I'll make a video with an iPhone. It might take, say, say it's a twelve or fifteen minute long video, but I'll just shoot specifically with the iPhone, and the title will say like iPhone, how to do X with iPhone or something like that, and they'll get on there and just rub, just go Samsung off. Samsung could free. do it better. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. you just wasted 15 minutes of your life watching a video that you knew you were going to hate on. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and and they probably didn't even watch it. <laughs> That's true. I kind of laugh at it and go, I know you hate it, but you, like, commenting makes the algorithm like it a bit more, so more people are going to say it, so... In the hate, you know? I, I've seen where you <laughs> said, you know, thanks for your comments. It helps the yeah. audience. <laughs> <laughs> like, <I, I, clears throat> yeah, I want to reply more, but I don't want to help you. <laughs> you yeah. Uh, my clips. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's cool. I just, hey, I Joe's just was some... the one with the the line of. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll just find it again. Yeah, this one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Very cool. A little blown out because they're watching the clips. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Good job, man. So, Scott, you have a question and you couldn't be bothered typing it. So, you just joined the chat. <laughs> I started to type <laughs> in. I'm like, this is going to take too long. So, I might as well just join. Um, I'm curious to know when you guys go on location, I put actually put this poll on uh, on threads. Um, when you guys go to a location to shoot photos, you're, you're going out to do a waterfall, Greg, like the other day or something like that. How many photos do you take generally? I would so, say for, for sorry, go on, Greg. No, go, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'm going to look it if, up. Actually. If I went to, um, um, say it's to shoot a video because generally speaking that's what i'm kind of doing now i'll go to a place i'll shoot a video and i'll take photos and it really depends on what i'm doing what i'm doing is a little bit different because i'm trying to get the lighting right and everything else yep. so i might take more maybe um but if i was going to shoot say one one subject with the night sky um I'm going to say on a bad night, I would do maybe 20 of that okay. subject. Okay. Yep. That's like getting getting the light right. Um, and I find sometimes you'll, you'll get it right pretty early and then you just try different things. And you may have seen that in some videos where I've, I've gone, that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can do a little bit better by yep. doing this or that. So yep. I'd say about 20. Okay. 20. Yeah. So yeah. that last time I was at the waterfall, you no, know, because I was there not too far in the distant past, um, 
the mo the main reason I went again is because my cousin that was with me, she'd never been down to the bottom where the waterfall is. She'd always been from the top side. <clears throat> so I we we hiked down around and it, it's quite a treacherous walk to get down there. But anyway, um, so I, I I was surprised. I just checked. I took seventy po photos. Okay. But That's I was good. trying, you know, re-exposed, uh, reflex, reheld. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't think I used the native camera at this time, but I did the last time I was there. But, um, but you know, I, I was trying different exposure settings, and but the conditions were different. That's a big deal too, because the yeah. last time I was there, it was overcast, and this time it was bright sunlight, right in midday. So yeah. it was a little more challenging, right, to get what I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but I would, I would. Anytime I go anywhere like that to to try to get a decent shot, I'll do anywhere from thirty to eighty pictures. Just depends on when I get it, right? I'm, I'm, right. If I get yeah. the shot I'm looking for, then usually I'll say, "Okay, well, that's good. I'm 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 out of here." So it, it kind of varies, really. But I would say definitely never less than twenty or thirty, anyway. Okay. I was curious how other people do it. I, I, I watch videos, um, like in, for, you know, how to's or, you know, how to do this or how to do that and stuff. And you always see them take the shots and, and stuff like that. And this is how, like, even with Gavin's, uh, videos and stuff like that, and, um, trying to compose it this way and, and get the shot. And in the back of my head, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm curious during that day, how many photos they actually took during the the oding and stuff like that oh i didn't get the picture and stuff you only see the good ones and and everything yeah, yeah. um and i know he did a video recently where he, he showed all his misses or something like that which still looked really good to me <laughs> but, yeah. uh, like, well i've seen i've seen gavin sit there and while he's talking to to his little osmo during yeah. the vlog he's sitting there and he's taking a picture clicking button you know, yeah. and he'll look and he'll take another one yeah and and he just does that constantly like, as he's sitting there talking like not all the time but i've seen him do that at times yeah like just just the light changes or whatever right you know so yeah so like the when last you think time... about sorry okay, go ahead no no after you when you think about all of the what like the the some of the best landscape photographers because that's kind of what you talk i could talk about wedding photography mm -hmm. and I, I i would when i first started wedding photography i would go <laughs> I was wondering when you're going to do that, Greg. I, was, yeah. uh, I, I would go and shoot a wedding. I would deliver between three and 400 photos to the customer at the yeah. end of the day. But when I first started shooting weddings, I would take like 2,000 plus photos. Wow. Yeah. Uh, because it's such an important day and you don't want to miss anything. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But now I'll go and shoot a wedding Give, deliver the same amount of photos to the customer and I might shoot six to 700 photos. Yeah. And that would be it. Yeah. And I think that the, the reason for that is your skill set gets better. You become more yeah. honed in your skill set. Yeah. I think, uh, and, and to be fair, if I didn't duplicate group photos, that the end number of photos I would take at a wedding would be a, about 500 because okay, when i'm doing yeah. groups i like like say say three or more people i will take multiples of that just in case one blinks or whatever and i yeah move yeah things around but if i didn't do that it would be about 500 photos five to five five fifty i reckon <clears throat> because you just get better at your skill but when, what i was getting what i was getting at was when say you think of the best Old school photos, right? People like Ansel Adams. And you look at some of his photos and you go, and you, you can't be, you can't look at them and go, that's just shit. You know, they're, no. they're, they're just spectacular photos. And I guarantee yeah. you the photos that he was taking on site would be very minimal. Yeah. <laughs> because you couldn't sit there and go, oh, I'll do that again. Oh, I don't know. You didn't have that option, yeah? Right. You had right. film and it, you, you had to uh, use that resource. It's, it's a finite resource that you had with you. That's so right. yep. uh, I think that the, the way that we are now, I always joke about uh, when I'm shooting weddings and people go, oh, can you take one of this? Can you do this? Oh, you've got plenty of film. I always joke about that. But yeah. 
the re- the reality on site, I think is as photographers, if you approached it like I don't have one of these in my camera, yeah, I've got a roll of film, you would be a lot more selective about what you do. Oh, that's a good that's that's a, good, that's, that's a yeah. really good way to look at it. Yeah, because I, mm-hmm. I find myself um I'll take the picture, like I'll decide, okay, I'm gonna use like reflex or something, and I'll take the picture and then I'll go, I wonder what that if I could do a better picture with reheld and then I'll take a picture of reheld and then I'll go, Hmm, I wonder if I should try this with even longer. And then I take one with even longer and yeah. I'm, you know, so I'm, I'm constantly second guessing myself as, as well, maybe a quick one with reheld just in case I didn't get that shot because what I find yeah. I don't do is I shoot and then I review the photos as quickly, right? Like I'll take the photo, I'll look at the, briefly at the image and then i'll i'll take two more just to be safe and stuff like that Mm -hmm. but looking at it that way yeah like maybe i should take less because i usually take hundreds of photos Mm -hmm. like my last time i went to uh, a little river and um it was like 207 and I think the time before that, like I've shared a couple of screenshots with you guys. It's like yeah. 300 oh, yeah. and some. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like yeah. waiting for that Adobe import into Lightroom. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> so, so, well, yeah, so. when I, I would love to go back there again, and I will, um, to New Zealand. It was the best photography, photography experience I think I've ever had. It yeah. was such a good trip. And the vast majority of photos that I was taking and then I was using, I want to say it was probably the Canon 5D and the average sort of photo length that I was taking was like 15 minutes. So you just like stack up ND filters and and take really long exposure photos. And it was pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty rare for me to look at a photo from New Zealand and go, eh, but they're all just amazing photos. Yeah. But because they took so long to take, it kind of puts you back in that film mindset that I was talking about before. Like I can't yeah. just sit here now and go bang, 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 because it's not that's not the sort of photography that I was doing. It was, yeah. I guess, the word is intent, but the intent and knowing your knowing your your craft, knowing yeah. your gear. And having that intent will reduce yeah. that number. I think with phone photography, probably more than any other sort of photography, we can fall into the trap of taking stupid amounts of photos because we can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that uh, what, What's his name? Um, Jack Hollingsworth. I think you were talking, Greg. He, he has millions of photos. Well, he's, he's taken like over can't... one over one million photos in, um, well, since twenty eleven, I guess. Yeah. So that's wow. that's a, that's an awful lot of photos. <clears throat> yeah. And and good luck to you, mate. Like you can't deny he's not a good photographer. No. But I think of the the photos that he wouldn't show. If we looked at them, you'd probably still sit there and go, "That's a bloody good photo." Yeah. So yeah, why did we take the? 35 other ones of that same thing. I don't know. That's just yeah. how I, I think of it. Yeah. Well, yeah. getting back to, to Ansel Adams, you know, he may have been very limited to the number of plates or film or whatever it was that he used exactly. in the field. But where he went crazy was in the dark room. I, Absolutely. I have a, I have a book yeah. about him hmm. and it talks yep. and it shows multiple different edits of that um, yep. uh, moonrise over yep. something there's a, like a little village or, or a graveyard or something sure. in the image yep. and different different stages of the edit until he got it to where he wanted it and, and you yep. know that's that was his way of taking shot after shot after shot of the same damn thing <clears throat> yeah but you can't um uh i always i've said it a few times in videos like you can't pol- polish the turd yeah like yeah, if you yeah. if you fin- if you start with a shit photo you're going to end with a a shit plus photo. Yeah, it's just the way yes. it is. Yeah, like he 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 would still go out there and shoot minimal number of images of that yeah. subject, and then just edit them multiple ways. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, but that's, that's what in we a do. way, in a way, that's you know, you could take like okay, my last outing here, 
uh, I tried a number of shots from Reexpose, a number of shots from Reflex, and then it only took a couple from Reheld to realize that's what I wanted. Yeah. So mm -hmm. actually, my best shots of the day were from Reheld. Yeah. You know, yep. tripod mounted, yes, but still, I was yep. it just the. It's I, so good. It is the look that I was after. <laughs> it's so good. The look that I was after, I got from Reheld. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, I think yeah. you you you. That's what I was going back to before. Like, you you know your skill set. Like, I'd, I'd like to think that at least the three people on the screen here can take a photo. In my opinion, you can. You know that you can do it. You know your skill set's fine. The gear that so what I'm referring back to is like the New Zealand trip. I knew my gear. I was saying this to Sarah yeah. the other day about. Um, uh, I was talking about when I go camping, I said, I need to get one of those bloody torches that you put on your head. And she made a comment like, you're out in the dark all the time. Don't you have one? I'm like, but I know where all the shit is. <laughs> like, even when yeah. when I'd go and before the YouTube stuff, I'd go out to um, out, out to the field and just saw a private chat there. Oh, ah, yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, you don't have to. Um, well, we will. Um, but I, I would go out there with... Um, uh, for the sake of this conversation, my Canon Mark, Canon 5D Mark III, I think it was, um, I'd go out there. I didn't need a light because I knew where all the buttons were. I knew what they all did. Yeah. So I never took one. Um, so I've never never really used one. But now with camping, I go out there and go, um, that, that dark space between where my fire is and where the vehicle is with all the lights on it, I can't see shit in here and I just drop something. I can't find <laughs> my yeah. torch or something. Yeah. But my point is... With the with the camera, um, I just knew where everything was. I knew where the manual focusing button were. I knew, was I, I knew where the ISO switches were. Where 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 the yeah, I knew where all that was, and that goes back. I think that translates to the apps that we're talking about here. I think yeah. if you know what uh, uh, Reheld can do and where it can do it well, mm -hmm. you'd probably only take photos of that subject with that app because you know it will do it. Yeah. So you wouldn't necessarily yeah. know. Oh, you wouldn't necessarily have to jump between um, even longer, re-exposed, re-held, and, and whatever else you're using. There's there's a multitude of apps out there to use. Yeah. So I, I I think if you become the champion of that app for that scenario, you would take less photos. True. Yes. Probably. Yep. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I, yeah, I find a lot of time it's it's experimenting too, right? Like so, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. how I'm, yeah how I'm, how I want to frame it, and I'm I've been doing a lot more with waves and crashing and rocks and stuff, and and instead of the longer exposures, trying to get that motion into the and and so I've been playing more with reflex and stuff with that, and sometimes it's just it's just not right. Let's go back to reheld and. Nails it, and it's a yeah. Wow. <laughs> so it's yeah. an interesting thing you're saying there. It's like, so this is not long exposure stuff that you're talking about, or it is. It sort of is. So like trying to get like maybe like a half second, just get just enough motion with the waves coming around a rock or something like that, versus yep. that whole flat flat thing. Right? Yeah, half okay, second okay. versus one second exposure, just enough to yeah blur it a little bit, but not uh, yep. not go crazy. Yeah, so. So how often would you say you guys use the native camera app? Fairly often, but not, it depends. Candid shots, native camera, like just walking the dog or something like that. Yep. And I want to grab a quick photo. Astro, you pretty much almost have to unless you're doing star trails. Yeah. Um, but anything else, waterfalls, uh, landscape stuff. I'm going to something mm -hmm. reflex or reheld or okay. even longer. Yeah. Yep. I would think 10% of the time, maybe 10% of the time. Only 10%. Use it. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I want to take a shot with, uh, um, like with the five times, I'm going to reach, I'm going to, uh, reflex because I don't want the camera. I don't want it zooming the main camera just to get that five times. And that's what the yep. iPhone will do if there's not enough light. And yep. so I want, I want the five times to be the five times every time. Mm -hmm. And that's why that's, that's probably the main reason why I go to reflex. Uh, yep. 
you know, plus it has the, you know, I'm, I'm a geeky guy. I, I, I like using the histogram, things like that. Nerd. Know, just aren't available. Nerd, yep, I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Get my pocket protector out. <laughs> oh, look, to be fair, when, when all that, I, I keep referring back to that New Zealand thing, the New Zealand trip, Every photo I took there, I'd can I'd get the composition right, and then I'd just be the history. I wouldn't look at anything else besides the histogram. As long as the composition, the histogram were right, I didn't care. It was, exactly, it was good. Yeah, yep. 100%. Yep. I should look at some of these, but I, I would say that I use the native camera app ninety five percent of the time. Yeah, it's I I, I kind of go the other way. I go, this is where all the propeller heads put all their time into this camera, the hardware and the software, use it until it doesn't do what I want it to do. Only then would I look at something else. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do you use your big boy camera or just use your phone? I use the big cameras for all the corporate stuff I do, all the, all the, the corporate stuff, the family stuff, the wedding stuff, all the paid work where people are paying yeah, me to take these photos. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I um, use mine for wildlife. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. Yep, and you do it well. The I would say the last time I took my big boy camera out and shot with it not in anger would have been <laughs> when I did that comparison video of Pixel, Samsung, and iPhone with that tractor. And I took a photo with the Sam with a Sony camera then. That would be the last time I used my. That was that was a while ago. That was that was plus of six months ago wow. um, since I've used that camera. But the, well, I kind of go. I went. I went through a, a phase, I guess, when I started like taking photography seriously of of paying you with with the the thought of paying your bills with a skill set, and I went from buying everything I could to make me better uh, to going that can I make money with that lens or not and if I yeah. can't it never got bought and now I'm in the in the, the I'm in the, the the area of this is what I do for a living now and as much fun as it is I guess from time to time to go and take photos with that camera um, that's in my pocket and I can do it with that too. So rarely do I use the big boy camera anymore. Yeah. I like, I like the challenge of the phone, right? Like just it's, yeah. it's, I, I see people, what they can do. Everyone knows what they can do with a DSLR, a mirrorless, yep. like it's incredible and stuff. So yeah. the challenge of <laughs> how can I do that? Yeah. How can I do that <laughs> with, with a phone and, uh, and, yeah, I, I like that challenge and stuff like that. And people, mm. you know, when they ask, oh, what what did you shoot this with? I, I use my phone. And they're like, no, 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 really. What's it? I, no, really, it's my phone yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. 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 I like to, um, there's a few photos on my walls that you may have seen in videos of um, their photos from around here, like some of my best Astro stuff that I've taken. Um some of the stuff from New Zealand and stuff, but I'll get back there at some point. Like I said, it's turning into a New Zealand bloody chat. Um, <laughs> Take a shot. Every Astros... time he mentions it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, keep going. I'm like 10 ahead. I've got something to pink. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably drinks like a drink a week and we just take the piss because he's an Englishman and drinks. Of course. Um, it, I, I like to try and replicate what I've done with the DSLR with the iPhone or with a, a phone, I find that quite a good challenge. And then you mm -hmm. look back at the photos from before and the ones that are from now, there is definitely a difference, but you're really pushing that little tiny sensor to try and do what that big yeah. sensor did. You know? um, it's a good, it's a nice, nice challenge. I like it. Yeah. Um, Dave, same as Scott, except when I'm on a run, take a shot. I, that makes sense. Yeah. He's talking about the, the native app. Yeah. Um, or if the photo isn't good, you can app. You can. That's absolutely a good point. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Dave Dave <clears throat> is very creative with his editing. Um, yeah. Like, he does some stuff. I don't know where he comes up with it, but it's pretty cool. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I just wish I could be that creative with it. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Greg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you've got a good eye. Like I, it, it amazes me every time. Like when I see your photos and I, and I like, just the way you compose it and stuff like that. It's like the leading line in that last one and stuff like that. It's like, that's so well done. And mm, I, it's something I struggle with is, is coming up with like uh, proper compositions and stuff. I, I, and so, yeah, it, it's really good. Well done. Well, thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. I think Gavin explains that sort of thing pretty well when he composes his stuff, why he's taking the photos where he is. I think, yeah, yeah that's, he does. that's, that's where I learn a lot of it is from Gavin. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's, he is really good at it. Yeah. I would say of all the photographers that are on YouTube, I would say he would be one of the best edutainers that are out yeah. there. You learn a yeah. bit and you're always having a bit of a chuckle with what he's doing, you know. Yeah. If you're not if you're not sub there, go and have a look. It's definitely worth definitely worth checking it out. It's yeah. not it's not phone stuff, but it's all it's all relatable, isn't it? Oh sure it Spe is, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Gavin, there was um at the end of his videos he falls down, right? There's that little clip where he yep. falls down on the ice. Yep. There was like, I don't know, a month ago or something like that. I was sick. I was, so I was just watching YouTube at home and stuff like that. I went back and searched every video to find the clip where he falls and I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's probably, in one of the videos. I, yeah, so. I don't think it's in one of the videos. I think it's I just even that one, one where he's wearing the same jacket. I narrowed it down and I was like, he didn't <laughs> fall though. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> did you actually learn yeah. anything from those videos or you just went did he fall this is a this is a pretty good point that maurice is making here experimentation and it's like an insurance policy i guess for that location i get that yep totally get yep. that yep uh, for me half the time of photography is trial and error pretty much yeah. That's fine. And everybody yeah. is different. What did you find with the poll that you did on threads? You know, oh, I just you know how it. old I am. I've not even joined this whole threads thing. I'm like, sure I've got enough shit to look at. Oh, Scott's <laughs> working. Mm. Yeah, I'm just looking at my other screen. So I broke it down into four categories. Um, 1 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 100, or 100 plus. And wow. right now, um, 11 people have voted. 36% are in the first group, 1 to 25, 18 in the 25 to 50, 18 in the 50 to 100, and 27 in the 100 plus. Mm -hmm. So the first group is winning. Mm. Yeah. There you go. We're the, we're the ones that buy the cheap cameras, cheap phones that don't have much storage. I can't there fill this yeah. shit up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take out image location while iPhone tied up on a two hour staff. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I still think the, the, the main difference is is the printing. Um, and with what I do with the with the Astro stuff is mm. the focusing for the foreground versus the stars. But the iPhone does it really well. A yeah. DSLR just does it better. It yeah. just gets it sharper. But oh, shit, yeah. it's it's a phone for crying out loud. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. How supposed to you? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's um, threads. Go, I, I find threads to be better for interaction with other people. Way yeah. better than. It than doesn't Instagram. have the videos and the reels. Yeah, that there's none of that. Instagram okay. has. I yeah. find threads more like walking through an art gallery. You see the nice pictures. Yeah. There's good interactions. It's not all the yelling at you at you, the circus that Instagram is, yeah. right? That's just yeah, noise. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My my Instagram fit my Instagram between so I've got like the 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 Shane Austin one, then I've got the Buck and Beard one, and I've got the Have a Crack one. And it's funny when I go between them, all the different shit that I get presented with. It's yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> bloody hilarious. It's oh yeah. yeah I, I yeah. I don't know about this interaction bit, like this here, what we're doing now, this will do me for like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's your username on threads uh it's the same as my instagram good question uh it's baker by the shore baker by the shore did you change mm -hmm. that was that i did yeah 
You oh, I know you were talking about changing it. Dream. It used to, no, it used to be Rosie <laughs> and my humans. Oh, Roscoe P. Coltrane is your Twitter handle. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That's fine. X handle. X handle. Take her by the door. That's funny. I'd have to ha- I'll have to. I don't know if I want to have a look at the threads thing. It'll just give me something else to bloody look at. It, it comes up in the Facebook feed all the time, like these thread things. And I click on it and say, oh, you want to install threads? I'm like, fuck no. Like Scott always says to me, do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Take it by the shore. Yeah, right. It's, it's, um, I was watching, uh, this is where my head just went then because I was talking about like the Buck and Beard one, the Shane Moster one, and the Have a Crack one. On the Have a Crack one, pardon me, what I, what I see there now, the vast majority of stuff I see on my Have a Crack Instagram feed are bikini clad girls. <laughs> and and what it is, because all I, all I follow on that channel are either four wheel drive manufacturers or other four wheel drive YouTubers. And they're all bloody YouTubers. And I look at some of the, the, the videos, as you see them in my Have a Crack um, news, but the, the, the YouTube feed, and it's just all bikini-clad women, right, in front of their four-wheel drives and stuff. And you look at the view count and you go, and that went up a day ago and you got 30,000 views. That's got to be a crack of video. I go, and it's fucking <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah, they just put yeah. the bikini-clad girls on there just to get you to look at it. So I'm going to, like in the in the not too distant future, I'm going to do a, a video about camping somewhere and just find, like I'll, I'll AI generate a chick in a bikini and put it in the <laughs> thing and just to go, you suckers, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for clicking on this to see there I'm was, not wearing a bikini. Yeah. You'll get that was, um, YouTube plaque right, right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a YouTuber that does that, um, and he does like Lightroom instructional videos, and uh, often, okay. and there's always a uh, a pretty girl like explaining something. She's like, "Oh, this," or you know, just <laughs> in in the yeah. thumbnail, and they're never in the video and stuff. And he actually shows in one of the videos where he goes and finds the video of the girl and puts it into the clip art and stuff, and and puts it into yep. the uh, the thumbnail and stuff. And uh, yeah. yeah, totally ups the views. Yeah. yeah absolutely it just would like yeah some some of the stuff and i'm not i some of them are very good don't get me wrong like some, oh, yeah. some of them uh, 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 they make really good content and, and it's really good to watch but others you just go oh, that's, that's a terrible i learned nothing i feel dumber for watching what i just watched and <laughs> it's all because you put a bikini clad tan blonde haired girl on, yeah, the, on yeah. the thumbnail <laughs> um, give me a break it's just yeah. I don't know yeah so, some of it I just go yeah that's that's what I'm competing with <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what I'm competing with for clicks like this <laughs> just competing with that <laughs> give me a break <laughs> yeah anyway so well you, you this, just this week, have to put uh, on a speedo and, and get yourself out there <laughs> It's Don't never gonna happen. No. <laughs> I'm with I'm with Baker on this one. <laughs> <laughs> the um the, the what was I gonna say just now? The 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 forecast for the week. Uh, I sent these guys a a, a a photo of somewhere I was going this week. And my forecast for for the week from the Bureau of Meteorology said it was going to be cloudy all week, and it's just not being cloudy all week it's had one we've had one night of cloud every every morning i get up i go outside and it's like it's crystal clear i could have gone camping at this place to take this particular photo so oh, i was all jaded and shit about it uh it's about two hours away oh, so it's not something that i can <laughs> <laughs> it's far enough though that it's it's not like you could just impulsively just go there why not it's it's far enough away that like, th- this is the only reason I would go there um, to do that photo. <clears throat> there's li- when you when you see where I go, there's nothing else there. It's like a boring, boring place. Mm-hmm. But you get these two. You'll see it. Two really cool photos. And if the sky's all cloudy, you've literally wasted half a day um, to go up there and go. Oh shit, it's cloudy. Come back up. 
Um, so no, I'm not going to go there just just for shits and giggles. If there was lots of Fine. opportunity there to take other photos, I would go. But maybe just not. Maybe there will be scantily clad women in with trucks there getting the photo <laughs> taken. <laughs> no, no, and. And when, when I go and do this, I'll actually comment about some of the driving that you get up there. These people are not going there. No. Yeah. 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 I'll leave that one a bit open because it, it's a pretty cool story. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for the video. Yeah. But the, I, don't, I don't know what it is at the moment. The, the Australian's Bureau of Meteorology, I don't know. I think, I think for, for morning tea, they all do like hash cookies or something because they're getting it wrong <laughs> so often at the moment. So often. Yeah. There, there was some, they were talking about it's going to be um, the driest summer we've ever had in Australia and cattle farmers all over the country sold their cattle because they're like, well, I can't feed them. If it's going to be a drought, I need to get rid of them now. Turned out to be an incredibly wet summer, one of the best summers we've ever had on, on record wow. and all these guys have gone almost broke um, because they've got no cows and they could have been making a lot of money yeah. um, because there's all this feed on the ground. It's just going to waste now. It's like your your stupid decisions cost people their livelihoods. Anyway, yeah, let's not get political. Yeah. Um, so, Mister Baker, you are the reflex photographer of the month. Just my, my main question here, mm -hmm. and I think everyone's everyone's thinking, but everyone here wants to know the answer to mm -hmm. this question. At what point? Did you decide to pay for that award? <laughs> Day one. Day one. <laughs> but, but just before you said that, I had in my head, how much did this cost you? <laughs> I, 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 I seen the ad saying they're going to do it. And I got right on. I was like, well, who do I transfer the money to? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the maple syrup. Who do I send the maple syrup to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, so there Mike, you, you start. <laughs> <laughs> you start, and, and we'll 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 do it as well. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. You first. <laughs> I wouldn't say so, him first because he would do it. <laughs> I know he would. <laughs> so, um, um, to to answer the question, because um, I haven't actually watched the video, I just mm -hmm. I just can't. It's like that earworm from that Japanese department store when David Addison's voice is in my ears. I can't get it out of my head. So what <laughs> what what uh, what photo was it that won? Or was it a series of photos? Series of photos. So basically, okay. David, yeah. So for, throughout the month, um, they're looking for people who are engaging, posted photos, who, and, the, and it kind of timed when they launched the lenses. So they're looking for maybe people who were using the lenses more, whoever upped their game. Basically, whoever impressed David the most. And yep. uh, yeah, it's, so, it's all David, right? It's not even the reflex guys, I don't think, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's just David. So yep. um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's it's uh, a great honor. I, I, I know was that really because, surprised. I, I know that because yeah. I, all the money I sent to Josh didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, so I, what I did you win? I won a one hundred dollar uh, U.S. gift card um, uh -huh. for Reflex. So will um, that just will that just cover the taxes, or I'm just fucking with you? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's U.S., so it'll be a little better than that. It was U.S. <laughs> yes. so, so yeah, so it, it, more than half covered the price. I bought myself a long range macro lens. Yes, right. I'm going to put Greg's book to use, and oh. uh, and stuff. So. Um, and then I think I'm going to be featured in the blog and uh, a few things. So yeah, it's. Uh, I, I was surprised. Cool. I, I didn't. I didn't think. Yeah, it is. It's. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah cool. you'll like that lens. So yeah. You'll like it. Yeah. Yeah. So the only awards that we will give away on this panel is from what um, Mike came up with that idea. Wait. Um, oh no. Wait. Wait. <laughs> there go. There's an award. Am I about to get demonetized here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have it with me. Uh, I left it at home. He it doesn't have it me. with him, it guys. Was, it was uh, the purse you sent me. The purse? <laughs> 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 
I left it on the counter at home. I meant to bring it. Well, because you use it so often. I well, that's why he, that's why he hasn't topped up his lipstick today. He left his purse over. That's right. <laughs> I keep that, my beard comb in it, and just yeah. that purse came with that that phone. There you go. When I, when I got that phone, that that purse it was when I opened. I was like, "What the fuck is this? Why are you sending me a bloody shoulder bag for my phone?" It goes it, in your fucking pocket. What's wrong with you, people? It's the oddest thing. I, yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. So when I sent you stuff, I'm like, because it's You're Google. This. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably trackers oh, in it and knows everywhere as I go and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I know. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. I, I yeah. know where you're at. <laughs> it was just. I Shane knows how what? Shane knows how long you're sitting on the John with your phone. <laughs> and my purse. But, I wear it there. But if you could if you could use the one that you use when you're at home more, I can see it. Like the Wi Fi signal's better there than where you are. Okay. Away. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. The um when, when I opened that, I, I don't know if it was just this phone that did it. I maybe because it's a pro. Because it's the first Pixel Pro that I've purchased. That's like a tongue twister, isn't it? Pixel Pro that I purchased. Yeah, that's four times fast. <laughs> and it came, it had a little badge, which I've I've lost. That's how that's how it's likely in my purse. No, no, I've I had it here. <laughs> oh, there it is. It is here. I might pull out a cable that's wrong at the moment. <laughs> we'll see. It's that little um because it's just so Google, it's a little dinosaur on uh focus, oh, the, damn it. The chrome oh, dinosaur. Yeah. 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 Uh, on a bicycle, because like, who doesn't want a dinosaur on a bicycle for a pin? And it's it's so well worn, like I wear it all the time. Um, but I, I've got that in there, and it's, I, it's I think, called a man bag. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you, what are you reading my mind here? I was just going to say, I think we should start calling it a man bag, not a purse. <laughs> <laughs> Merch. Immerse. Immerse. <laughs> but I opened the, the packaging. I'm like, the fuck is this? I don't I don't get it. What why did you send me this? It goes in your pocket. Why did you send me a bag? Uh, I really wish you had it on you now that we're talking about it so much. It's probably I'm... just the right size for a uh, long range macro lens, don't don't you think? <laughs> oh, it could be, yes. That's right. Uh, I've got I've got a lot of bags and stuff that carry lenses and shit. That's <laughs> hence hence that video I made. Um when I was camping out near the Murray that time, of all the shit that we take with us. Um, did you want to talk about that other thing, Greg, or not? I don't know. Uh, we could save it for another time. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we've been on here for an hour and 17 minutes, 18 minutes. We can well, pull the pin. I see the viewership went down pretty pretty quickly after Baker came on. <laughs> that happens. Especially when we <laughs> mentioned purse. <laughs> Merce. 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 Yeah. Merce. It's a Merce. <laughs> All right, we'll get out of here. Thank. Oh, there's another question here. Oh, no, I didn't. S- something about the Star Tracker. Yeah, Star Tracker video is coming. Yeah, is it? I'm just. Um, you you did miss the conversation. We we spoke about it briefly just before you posted that. Uh, there it is. Um, well, from what from what uh, Mike's saying, it didn't fix it anyway. I was hoping to do it with the Samsung. I've just been testing it with different phones at the moment. I'm not happy with. I'm not overly happy with um, what the iPhone's doing, but I did. I have got a few ideas here to play with. But stay tuned; there'll be something on that soon enough. Soon enough. Anywho, what's on your uh, podcast this week, Greg? Uh, Is your podcast well, we, this week? We talked about the book, and um, uh, oh, we talked about the eclipse and how I almost had a different co-host. Uh, I was this close to firing Dave and bringing his wife in. Oh. <laughs> she actually oh. shot she actually shot pictures of the eclipse with her with her fifty. Oh, I saw that in the comment before, yeah. 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 But uh no, it, it's all good. Um uh yeah, no, just just talked about the eclipse and, and you know, Dave's experience with it and mine. Um, you know, mm-hmm. he, he was at work, but they were kind enough to let them out and, and experience it. Yep. And uh and then, you know, with me it was out of out of the path of totality, so it was you know it just got dim. It didn't get dark. I was hoping it would got would have got dark, but it is what it is. And uh, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that was about it. Really, just went through our pictures and yep. There was uh, there's an Instagram post I seen the other day, and it showed the difference between ninety nine percent 
and 100% totality oh, really? in darkness. Now, I don't know if it's legit or not because, you know, everything on the internet, but uh, oh. I'll send it to you. And, and it's like night and day, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that just goes to show you how powerful the sun is. If yeah. it's just a sliver showing, it's enough to light up, you know, yeah. to, to give you daylight. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys see that photo that Peter McKinnon took? Yeah. Nope. Of the Red Bull planes? Yeah, I did. With the with nope. the eclipse? <clears throat> go, go see... Just go and search his YouTube channel. Just yeah, go and search the, for Peter McKinnon. You'll, you'll find it. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's really? amazing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm not doing that with a phone. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll get out of here and we'll, we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for All coming right. on. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>